Welcome, friends, to the Black Castle. Come, follow me, please. For again, we visit the wizard who dwells yonder in the great hall. Now, up these steps to the iron-studded oaken door, which yawns wide on rusted hinges, bidding us enter. Follow softly down this long stone wall corridor. Music. Do you hear it? It is he, sitting before the moon old organ, clutching the keys with his ancient bony face. There, perched on his shoulder, is his pet raven. See? Wait. It is well to stop. For here is the wizard of the black by the shrill shriek of a police whistle. Another is heard. And then another, and another, and another. A frantic, panic-stricken man leaps from the shadows and races down the street. The police whistle now sound on all sides. He is cornered. Ah, the house with the light. It is his only hope. His last chance to escape. Up the step, he bounds and into the vestibule. The police are now in close pursuit. Then flashlights are turning the shadowy corners into day and the vestibules into glaring traps. Yes, glaring traps. In desperation, a hundred man presses the button. Ah! Good evening. I, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking for uh, Mr. Brown. You may come here. Thanks. Thanks. Is this, uh, is this Mr. Brown's home? You have come to the right place. Well, I, I am lucky. <laughs> That's why they call me lucky, I guess. Follow me. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Through this door. Honorable sir, this man is looking for Mr. Brown. What? Mr. Brown? So he says. Yeah, 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 I'm uh, looking for Larry Brown. He's a, he's a buddy of mine. Why would you think he is here? Well, this is the address he gave me. Pardon, honorable sir. The police are in the vicinity. Perhaps they look for someone. What? Oh, the police are searching for someone, eh? Hmm. Is it you? Me? <laughs> Why would the cops be looking for me? Yes. Why, indeed. It is probably the police, honorable sir. Yes. Searching for someone, no doubt. They saw you run up these steps there. Eh? Hey, wait, wait. Give, give me a break, will you? G come on, give me a chance. Please, please. All right. Send them away, Neo. As you say, honorable sir. Now, sit down. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Say, uh, th thanks a lot. Protestations of thanks are not necessary. Hey, this is this is some layout you got here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This, this joint got some real door, huh? Your admiration is flattering. Is it that you want to remain till morning? Oh no, no, no! I'll be out of your way in no time at all. Them coppers will be gone in a minute. It was rather ingenious. You're asking for Mr. Brown to gain admission. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty smart cooking when it comes to using my noodle. They will not be expecting you at your residence. Ah, oh, no, no, I'm too smart for that. Nobody knows where I live. When I'm home, they know me under another name. I just disappear once in a while and nobody thinks twice about it. Good, good. That is excellent, most excellent. Nobody knows when you disappear. Yeah, yeah, well, it's okay. Say, uh, uh, what's your racket? Racket? I do not comprehend. Ah, you ain't half, that's all. I mean, what's your swindle? 
Say, you gotta have one the way you gave it a hand here. I, sir, am a scientist. Well, well, what do you know about that? One of them guys that fools around with rabbits and chemicals and that sort of stuff, huh? Yes, you are right, my new friend. You shall know more of my work. They are gone, honorable sir. They were seeking a sneak deal. Ah, that is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Well, um, I'll, I'll be off, I guess, sir. Thanks a lot for the lift, Professor. Sit down, my friend. I should like you to remain for a while. No, nah, no, nah, not that I thanks, sir. So I thought I'll drop around and we'll cut up a few stories together. Nero is dead. Yes, honorable sir. Hey, what, what's the idea? I shall tell you. You are a most fortunate young man. I am conducting an experiment. I need badly the help of a man, and I did not know where or how to get one until you, with the fortunate assistance of the police wizards, arrived at my door. Oh, I ain't uh, no good at your racket, Professor. You are exactly what I need. You are weakling, undernourished, and cowardly. You are the perfect type, and no one will miss you. Say, wait a minute now, that's not what I talk to a guy. I might look at sore. It would do you no good. Nero could tie you in knots with one hand. Yes, my friend. Tonight, tonight you have become most fortunate because your donation to science will be a great one. Hey, well, what's the, what's the play? I do not mind explaining further. The strength of the human is entirely dependent upon the development of his muscles. This is not true with many of the beasts of the jungle. Tonight, Tonight, I will transfer certain fluids of the giant gorilla into your quaking boy. Nah, nah, nothing to I ain't gonna stand for it. Ah, but you will. Yes. Tonight, I will discover the truth. Will a man with the added values of gorilla toxin also achieve the animal strength? <laughs> The mad professor and his huge servant dragged the protesting and thoroughly frightened victim through the hall and down, 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 down to the bottom of the stairs to a room that was completely equipped as a laboratory. Quickly, they strapped a human guinea pig to an operating table, strap upon strap upon strap, until he was quite unable to move. Yes, quite unable to move. <laughs> Let me out of here. You're nuts. Nuts. You ain't gonna put a knife for me. You need not worry, my friend. You will not feel the knife. You will not know pain. But I'm just a guy that's trying to get along, see? Let me out and I'll steer somebody else here that'll do it just as good as I will. My friend, there is an expression you Americans have to the effect. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Ah, no. No, my friend. We will as scheduled proceed. Professor, uh, tell me, am I, am I going to live after it? Oh, it would be most regrettable. Yes, very regrettable. A great loss to science if you did not. I am going to view the outcome with great interest, my friend. This, perhaps, is the beginning of a master race. A race of men who could conquer and rule the world. I, I am the man for that. Professor, please. You are caught. We will now pause. Wait, Professor. No, administer the anesthetic. Uh, once, honorable sir. So, so, get that thing off my face. Yes, there. The anesthetic put the man to sleep. And the operation began. Yes. The work of transferring the potion made of liquid removed from a gorilla to the man on the table moved along with marvelous efficiency. The professor performed his work with the skill of an artist. Soon, very soon, it was done. Now he would know. He would know if the experiment was to be a success. He would know if this weakling would rise from the operating table endowed with a tremendous strength of the giant gorilla. <laughs> he 
stood back and removed his rubber gloves. There was a look of sharp anticipation on his face. He lives, Nero. He lives. Yes, honorable sir, he lives. influences in his voice. Tell me how you feel. Tell me if you feel strong. Am I strong? You, you have done this to me. No longer am I a man. Never mind that. Never mind that. How do you feel? How do you feel? What is your strength? My strength, uh, oh, strength? Oh, I will show you. Nero, Nero, don't let him come near me. I will stop him, honorable uh, sir. You will stop me. Evil of the Everglades. You'll find it most amusing. 